Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's explore the world of bass pro shops. And there's a there's a seedy underbelly of nasty stuff that happens. Yeah, there is. But first, let's guess what those, this word means. Popple. Popple? P O P P L E. Popple. Uh, popple. 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 Popple's the last name. You knew a Mr. Popple? Todd Van Popple. Baseball player. Oh, he was very promising. We had his rookie yeah. card. <laughs> yeah, then, I, I don't know how I remember his and name. And then he like so that's it. Completely promising did. rookie that didn't amount to anything as far as we know, which uh, doesn't really mean. I much. think it's like a nodule, like a like a popple. It's a poppable nodule. I think it's a thing on a plant that the a uh, the the meristem, a typical meristem, comes out of. Uh, nope, it's to move in a tumbling, irregular manner as boiling water. Oh. It's like if it's something is roiling. Uh, he's really popping off right now. It's popping. Mm, that stream is popping. I better get to fishing. Yeah, Todd Van Poppel's early career. Can we look up Todd Van Poppel? I did, uh, but there's not really like, so he, he started for the Oakland Athletics in 1991, and then he went to the Detroit Tigers, Texas Rangers, Pittsburgh Pirates, Chicago Cubs, he Cincinnati Reds, and retired uh, with the New York Mets in 2005. If he well, managed so his he money had, he well. He had a 15-year career, so that's, he, I mean, he's, that's pretty he's, impressive. He's doing good. But he, he was the, I think he was the number one pick in 91, so that was like it was a really big deal to get that card. Yes, I believe you are correct. So the, the 1990 draft. So how are you? How are you categorizing these Bass Pro Shop stores? Well, basically, let me say that we skipped over like the gnarly like Bass Pro Shop sells guns stories. These are these are the entertaining uh, Bass Pro Shop stories. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing like nobody dies. Know. No gunplay. Yeah, okay, exactly. Good. So. Um, this and is some, a true but or false some of game. these are made up. Some of them are made up. And for that, we say bass no. Yeah, correct. But all of them, boy, do they sound real. You ready right. for the first one? Yeah. yeah. Earlier this year, a man was arrested at a Bass Pro Shops location in Bossier City, Louisiana, oh, for jumping into the fish tank because he wanted to go viral on TikTok. Yeah, of course. When was this? Earlier this year. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to make any Louisiana jokes. I don't have to because that's just that would happen anywhere. One does not simply jump in a Bass Pro Shops aquarium for TikTok. Yeah, they do. They don't simp One does not simply jump in a Bass Pro Shops aquarium and then jump back out and then live to tell about it. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely dead. But this is a uh, no. I'm. You know what? I'm going to say we're starting off with a something that could have happened, but you made it up. This is true. Kevin Wise jumped into a fish tank at Bass Pro Shops in Louisiana, telling his TikTok followers to help him go viral. In another TikTok, he told followers that he lost his job because of the prank. But on the plus side, he did get a lot of views and a criminal record. Hey, it's always worth it if, if you get the views. I thought it said he did get a lot of wives at in first. My... I, don't know why. <laughs> well, I, I, mean, I misread. Some girls are Some people do it for the gram, others for the wives. Uh... <laughs> My uh, my in-laws, who uh, I mentioned, my father-in-law is he's still a is, is still in a bass pro shop somewhere. We haven't seen him since. But he's also he's a fisherman, a he, big fisherman who's he, taken you fishing. He, he took me fishing uh, many times. It, there were points when I almost started to like it. And of course, one of those times we were fishing on a bank, and it generated the the epic but true story right. uh, of. Uh, me hooking my own son. Yeah, caught your own son. On the back of the head. Yeah. Not realizing, like, I was trying to cast. Sorry. Yeah, trying to cast. You can and see like, how easily. You know, I, I was, <laughs> and then it, it got caught. And then I'm like, oh, I thought it was caught on a bush. Yeah. So I jerked it a few times. His hair I, was pretty bushy at the time. Heard him making it. I mean, it caught, it was in his skin. Yeah. They had to take it, he had to take it and, like, yank it out. He was, um. Was he not screaming? Like, there's was, a. Something you're he you're was so me? confused by the feeling of something coming up behind him and yanking him forward. Yeah, because the line is invisible. Because he's like, I mean, he I was, don't know what's happening. He was probably five. Well, at least you didn't get the front of his face. Think about that. You look back like and the you, nose, and you got like an eyeball. Like I mean, uh. at that point, that that happens to people, man. Yeah, I've I caught a so boat a couple times, speedboat passing by a dock. That wasn't fun. Cause it like caught one. Yeah, 
and it, then the reel like goes really fast and then you have to cut it. Dang. Yeah. I love the idea of fishing and I used to do it growing up a lot, but like, I don't know. It, it would take a lot to get all the stuff you need to like really do it. Besides like going down to the LA river, which we did. It's, it's such a, it's such like a to skill. really do it. It's so, it could be so relaxing, but then it's such a skill. All right, let's hear another one. In 2017, a man in Lansing, Michigan, insisted on returning his boat to Bass Pro Shops because he believed it was haunted. When they refused to take the boat back, he took matters into his own hands by towing the boat right through the front doors of the store. Oh. What? Wetting the boat? He towed it. He towed it. He towed it right through the... I was with you until that part. I was with you until he towed it. Mm -hmm. you, You crossed the line at that point. This didn't happen. Haunted boat. Haunted boats happen all the time, though. Link, you locked in? Yeah. Yeah, it's fake. <laughs> yeah, it's fake. Hit I don't know again. what a haunted boat would consist of. Well, I guess if it was like a big enough boat to like have that's rooms the thing. underneath. How big does a boat have to be for a ghost to want to haunt it? Because could a boat could a ghost haunt a jet ski? Like, no, w- no. like it needs to have a cabin. That sounds like a like a Sweet Valley High or Goosebumps story. The I think jet some ski. ghosts. I think some ghosts have been relegated to jet skis, y'all. I think if you die on a jet ski, which happens all the time, you live on a jet ski as a ghost forever. The jet ski ghost. Can you share physical space with a ghost? Like, if a ghost was like driving the jet ski and you were also driving the yeah. jet ski, would they be like? Yeah. They could hold you from behind. Like a Photoshop <laughs> layer. Like, I, I want to know. Think so. Would they like be in your? That's the cover of the Goosebumps book. It's like. It's Link on the jet ski and then a ghost figure holding him from behind. <laughs> the haunted jet ski. And it's all like an illustration. That's a good idea I can something. see it. I'm convincing myself it exists. It's kind of like the Kanye West Kim on the, the, the bike music video. Kind of like that yeah. in the way that there's two people and one of them's holding the other one. Yeah. But not like that in and any other way. And also the ghost has a really... Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Earlier this year, a Bass Pro Shops employee and her now husband, Pam and Lonnie... You know, you know them? Those names check out. From Kodak, Tennessee. <laughs> Got married inside of Bass Pro Shops right in front of the store's fish tank. The store remained open during the ceremony. <laughs> of, course, of course, we're not going to, they ain't, they ain't going to pay to shut it down. Pam and Alani. Y'all can get married here, but it'll be business as usual, just so you understand. <laughs> and you're still on the clock, so you need to be answering questions and ringing people up. Yeah, right. So yes, <laughs> this definitely happened. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. my next marriage, it will also happen. Pam and Lonnie. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> After the happy couple got married, the Kodak Bass Pro Shops posted on Facebook, Here at Bass Pro, we will sell you a boat, a gun, even some clothes. Shoot, you might as well even get married here. Congratulations, Pam and Lonnie. Shoot. <laughs> well it, was a vo- it was a voice post. <laughs> I love that. The love Simpsons. That have accurately predicted many things over the years, including the fact that Bass Pro Shops would open a flagship store in the Memphis Pyramid. Oh. Can we talk about like how no. we, have we ever talked That's about no. how we felt when we saw that pyramid? Cause I've never like the childlike wonder of wanting to break out of the production schedule we were trying to keep and just like run to yeah, we didn't go. the pyramid. Well, Cause we, we could see it from our hotel room window and memphis so the memphis skyline is i mean there's, you know there's not a lot to it it's a pretty low city well the, the pyramid's not that tall either it's not like it well that's part of the skyline but, but it, we it, were it, beside it was no what i'm saying it's part of the skyline in memphis something that's 300 feet tall in memphis is part of the skyline there did you see another skyline in memphis that I didn't if you see? illustrate the memphis skyline i just don't think that that pyramid is part of it. oh it's not even close to like where some of the bigger buildings are but i'm saying when i'm looking out maybe it wasn't outside of your hotel room i looked out of my hotel room and it was just basically like one to two story buildings and then a giant pyramid That's it what is it actually when you mind. google memphis skyline it's in the memphis you skyline. know what i can be wrong but we were on remember we were going to saint jude and we were on the bus and we were like even closer to oh, it. Oh, we gotta get in that pyramid. It really, I mean, I don't think it was just me. I think we were all feeling it. Stevie, I wanna ask you an unrelated question. On okay. the on the last one, when you played the Lonnie vo- voicemail from Bath Pro Shops, that was, sounded like your voice doing an accent. Is that a question? Well, I I just wanna verify that was your voice doing an accent, but it leads me to something. Just you. I mean, it, it was single, very good. Every, every single, single picture. Every single, 
Representative Memphis picture. skyline has the pyramid in yeah. it, guys. I'm, I've never been more wrong. But see, it stands alone. That's why I was in a hotel that was looking that way. You know what? Yeah, Brett was staying in a separate hotel from the rest of us. I did yeah. not see it I stayed in my a, room. I stayed at a five star. That guys. hotel was nice. So that was your voice is what I'm getting at. Yes, but it was it, a very good impression, it but was. it was my voice, yes. What, what it made me think hmm. was, um, and I know I'm going off the rails here, but. Just a little bit. Do you think if you weren't from North Carolina that we would be working together now? Oh. What? I, yes. I don't think we would. Really? You think it's my impression of the accent that has sold you I, all these years? I don't think if you weren't from North Carolina that we'd be working together. Why is that? What, what do you think? Uh, well, it doesn't have anything to do with anything about Stevie seeming North Carolina, if that's what you're getting at. Because she could be from anywhere until you, you ask her where she's from. Right? Yes. But if what you're saying is that she is able to see something and interpret something in us based on the fact that we're from North Carolina, that she understands and can put us in context because she grew up in North Carolina. Yes, that's what I'm you're saying. You're saying that she would have quit if she wasn't from North Carolina. <laughs> I, I'm, if, yeah, if, if you're saying that, you then I completely I'm saying agree. two things. First of all, I don't think we would, I think that put it over the edge of us hiring you because, um, well, you may not have interviewed for us because it was like, hey, she's from North Carolina, you guys from North Carolina, you should, you should interview Stevie. Now you also were qualified. Um, mm -hmm. But I think that that was a little thing that put it over the edge. You know, when you're from the same place as somebody, it, it provides you trust some sort bit. of, you trust them trust a, little them a little, little bit more. Bit. Trust them just a little bit. There's no reason for that, but you trust them you just trust a them a little bit more because there's a shared, there's an implied shared experience that, you know, puts you a little bit more at ease. So we were, it, it only helped. But then I think you would not have worked with us for so long if you didn't have this point of reference for like when we, why we are, there's the certain things that we might say or do, or just faces that we might make, and you, you and North Carolina faces. And you're like, oh, yeah. North, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's they're from North Carolina. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep working for them. Yeah, Carolina, Carolina face is what we call it. Yeah, right. Resting Carolina face. Yeah, and I also left you that that voice memo before you hired me that was in the same voice that I just used for that round. Well, boys, so if you want to, really, well, how did it go? You. You, maybe you probably remember how it went. Yeah, it was like. Hi, Rentling. It's Davey. <laughs> y'all, we haven't met yet, but y'all are gonna wanna hire me. Yeah, that's, I remember that. I, remember I have that. rest in exactly Carolina well. face. <laughs> we haven't met. But you never know it from right. looking at me. I remember after the interview, you did leave us a voicemail and it was something like, hey y'all, it's Stevie. I'm, I'd be plum tickled to work for you. <laughs> All right, let's hear another I, one. I said it was pandering, but Link said, no, I think she's being authentic. <laughs> You heard it already, and then you asked the question. The, the qu I'll repeat it. The Simpsons have accurately predicted oh, oh, many things oh, over no the way. years. That, that, they, they, I mean, it's way, way too specific. too specific. In season eight, <laughs> no. episode nine no. of The Simpsons, Homer eats a hot pepper, causing him to hallucinate and see <laughs> visions of the future, including a pyramid turned into a pro shop. That episode originally aired in 1997, and the store was opened in 2015. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's great. So it wasn't in Memphis, it was just in a pyramid. Okay. A pyramid, oh, a pro I shop. Mean, that's pretty good. A, a golf pro shop or a? It says pro shop. That's but I mean, golf. that's you got two out of the three words. I'll take Fast it. Fast pro okay. shop. Even wow. though I was wrong. You know what? I was wrong earlier about the skyline. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're also wrong, wrong about, about that this one. now. <laughs> right, but jo yeah. you're joining me. Oh, look at that. Pro shop, there it is. You think that they got the idea from that? Yeah, probably, that's how it worked. <laughs> I, think like, it, I think somebody saw it and they were like, hmm, we could turn that. Honestly, that. could you think of anything more perfect to use like an old pyramid for in, in Memphis? Like, of course it's a Bass Pro Shop. Like, what else would it be? Uh, a Christian church. Well, that yeah, well, it was that, but after that, <laughs> yeah. you know? Earlier this year, there's a lot of earlier this Last year. A lot go. of things have happened this year. A woman in Jacksonville demanded that the store employee who played a Dixie Chicks song, also known as just the Chicks, be fired. She threw a fit when she was asked to leave, posting a now viral Facebook status about how Bass Pro Shops was no longer a family-friendly business. 
I, I mean, don't, I, I don't want to believe that Bass Pro Shops would do this, but they did. Man. I I find myself believing that they did this. Yeah. No, it's fake. Oh, okay. But have you listened? <laughs> Sorry, have you, you listened to the new Chicks album? Sorry, it baby. is good. Yes. You, I'm into it. Yeah. Shout out to the Chicks. Gaslighter. Gaslighter. Gas. Oh, I can't. I say mean, it, her her man did her wrong, and mm. she let him have it on way too many songs for me to stomach. I'm I being used honest. to listen to the Dixie Chicks. I remember in gym class in middle school, we would blast the Dix Dixie Chicks and run around the gym. And there was one song. Oh, I can't remember what it Wide was. Wide open. It was a song that made me feel like I could just run around that gym so hard. And it uh, just like, we just, it was on repeat. I got to look back at that album, but. That album, Wide man. Open Space. Earl. The one about Earl. Oh my God. I can sing every that lyric. That is a great album. Of Earl. It's so good. Did it's you, so they, freaking good. What happened to good. Earl? Earl, Earl, Earl had to die. Earl. Earl, they killed Earl they killed and they Earl. put him in the back of his truck. I mean, their, their truck a, and they took abusive, him down to the right? river and. He was abusive, yeah. He was an abusive boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And, ooh, they really, I mean, Earl was not the thing to run to, but it did, it really inspired you to, to murder people and, and take them yeah, yeah, in yeah. the trunk of your car. Right. Bass Pro Shops had nothing to do with it. Yeah. See, th th this little exercise, like someone's gonna get confused and think that they really did it, and then it's gonna, you know. No they really Bass did Pro it? Shops. They really played a Dixie Chick song? No ooh. Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> employee was fired because of playing a Dixie Chick song. Oh, the firing. Yeah. But if you played that new Chicks album in there, some people will get upset. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> so just a, I that's mean, just that's why you guessed it was real. Let's just be honest. Spread a positive message on the go with the Be Nicer to People bumper sticker available now at mythical.com.